today's video, I'm going to show you guys this really sick slide transition that you guys can use inside After Effects. Real quick before we get into the video, if you guys want to step up your transitions game, make sure you guys go check out my transitions pack for After Effects down below in the link in the description. To make this slide transition, once you guys have your comp and your clips in just like this, we're going to go to our first marker where the first transition is. And as you guys can see... Boring. First thing you want to do is you want to right click, click new adjustment layer, and then we're going to go up to our effects and presets, and we're going to type in offset. Offset. <laughs> Once you have your offset right here, we're going to drag it onto our adjustment layer, and for this case, we're going to put it right above those two clips, a couple frames back from the transition. We're going to keyframe the shift center to. We're going to click U on our keyboard, open up the layer, go ahead the same amount of frames. We're just going to eyeball this, and then what you want to do is you want to grab this and we're going to drag this to the right and as you can see this is how we get the slide transition depending on how fast you want is how many times you want it to kind of like keep sliding in this case we're going to go to 6720 and then if you play it back you just get this really fast slide transition and as you can see it doesn't look beautiful yet that is because we need to click on it go up to our effects and presets again and we're going to type in motion tile once you get motion tile, you want to put that on the adjustment layer. Also, grab it, put it above the offset. Offset. Then we're going to go to the output width and height and put that to 200. And we're going to click the little mirror edges checkbox. And as you can see, we get a way smoother cut right here. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight these. We're going to click W or easy ease, right click. You guys know what to do. And what that is, it just eases the frames. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to effects and presets. We're going to put on some directional blur. We're going to grab that directional blur. We're going to plop it onto our timeline. We're going to put the direction to 90. We're going to keyframe the blur length. Click U'd twice. Open it. On the start of it, you want it at zero. Go ahead a couple frames. And we're going to put it to about 45. And then we're going to go ahead. And right before the end, we want to keyframe it again to 45. Then at the end, we want to put it to zero. And if you play it back, now you got a really good motion blur to it. We're going to rotoscope this part out and this part out right here. So we're going to go to our bottom layer. We're going to control C, control V. And then we're going to cut that up right there so a problem i always run into when i'm roto brushing is if the clip is a different frame rate than the actual comp when you go up to roto brush it it'll usually say like some frame mismatch thing and so to get around that what we do is we right click click no new 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 and then we're gonna put a null object cut that up so it fits it and then we're gonna highlight the null object and that top clip right click pre-compose move all the attributes into the new comp we're gonna name this subject and then just clean this up now when you go in to roto brush it you double tap it and from here we're gonna roto brush i'm gonna skip this if you guys don't know how to roto brush watch a tutorial <laughs> quick tip after you're done roto brushing your character out when you're done click freeze right here and it'll freeze the frame so it doesn't have to render every time you want to preview it from here what we want to do is we want to go to the second part and do the same exact thing Control c Control v cut it right at the end null object repeat the process should just have the two different characters next thing you want to do is you want to grab your two subjects put them above the adjustment layer I highlight the two subjects right click pre-compose move in a new app move it into a new you know new comp we're just gonna name it top subject you're gonna go over to the little cube right here turn this into a 3d object we're gonna click p for position and then we're gonna click s for scale and then for rotation we're gonna keyframe the y rotation so for the y rotation we're gonna go to the end and we're gonna change this little number right here to one meaning it'll just do one full rotation. And then for the scale, this is where you can play around with it. You can actually just, we want to make it bigger. And then at the end, we want it to go back to its original value. And then for the position, this is where you guys can play around with it. We're actually just not going to use position. Here, what we can do is we can highlight all of them, easy ease them. This checkbox right here, turn this on. This is the motion blur for this layer. So once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. Now this transition can work on any type of footage, whatever you're editing. And in some cases for this one, the first clip subject is a lot smaller than the second one is make sure you're on the arrow, double tap on this, go to our first clip, click S for scale, P for position is right at the end. We're just going to make them a little bit bigger. Come on, yeet. Now, if we go back. That brings us to the end of the video. If you guys learned something today, make sure you guys just subscribe down below for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Soon.